because I thought actually there would have been an appeal from Belgium and perhaps there was but maybe a counter appeal from Canada who were quite unhappy at the circumstances of what happened and uh, the race will take place again tomorrow morning. Bronze medalist to do with the angle of the collision. Austria. So we're seeing that the Belgian de bronze for that. and the Canadian, so it gets rerun tomorrow morning without the Belgian. And the person you feel sorry for is Kerry Morgan, who couldn't believe her luck to see um, Stillwell and Verbourg, the two uh, people in the lead, go out of it. Uh, she came through, sneaked through to get the gold, and she'll now be deprived of that, which is a real shame for her. But uh, if the Belgian has been a judge to make a mistake, then it will have to be rerun. So there's the bronze. Thank you, Thank you, Well done. Austria. The F11 for nine competitors. Italy Telish of Russia getting the silver. <laughs> we have some more field action starting soon. The women's shot put for F11 and the men's triple jump for T11. So those the totally blind competitors. So it will go quite quiet in the stadium. Gold for Venezuela. Anibal Bello. 44-17, an area record. You'll need to bend down a bit because she's not tall enough and she's going to have to pull him down because he's blind and doesn't know that she's not tall enough. And it's all sorted out now. They give each other a lovely little hug. Difficult moment there. Mesdames et Messieurs, merci de vous lever si vous le pouvez pour l'hymne national du Venezuela. Ladies and gentlemen, the world champion medalists. Mesdames et messieurs, les médaillés mondiaux. So we don't have any medal ceremonies for a little while because we're going to have some field action for blind competitors and obviously they really do need to uh, hear what's going on. We've met the 